Bay circuit time <laughs> and we're somewhere in Sherburne through this amazing array of little properties we just threaded through it and we're heading back to a school parking lot but this is quite a walk another outstanding discovery there's a strange little blaze what is this Maintained by the Sherborne Forest and Trails Association. Okay, I think I've seen, I have their website somewhere. So this is just threading through a number of private holdings on either side following hunting lane and we've got about a mile or two two miles or so ahead of us like a pileate has been busy chewing something. That's the way to Newberry. And this is our way to Duxbury. It's a perfect early summer day. chewing going on. They must love it here. And now we pass through the first of number of stone walls and look at this fine old cedar deadfall. Yikes. It's pretty impressive. And down the hills we go. Hatch, I think. This looks like, ah, oh, it's just sliding off, I guess. The lower stuff may have been pulled by a bear, but I don't know. Lightning strike to me. Uh, initially, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
more standing dead cedars. A bale of fur. Here we're coming to the first of an assortment of cool little boardwalks designed for horses, as there is an equestrian element here amid the gnarly old roots. Skunk cabbage is getting pretty fat. Although the mosquitoes seem to be in abeyance. Suburbia is near at hand, but there's a buffer, thank heavens. <laughs> Rounding a bit. Coming on the tree house. Look at the effect of light on that rock. It makes them look almost blue. It's the deluxe tree house. 
that would be our way back to Newberry. And forward we go. Oh, another official blaze. We're discovering that this section of trails is kind of a mix of old paint swatches and the official blazes. And having passed the tree house, we run through a bunch of corkscrewing of the trail. Oh, there's a great old oak. 